my lovelies. So um, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, I'm going to talk to you about cones and then we're going to talk about um, some of my comments that I've gotten recently. Um, even though I am almost positive that when I talk to you guys about the comments, um, it's probably none of y'all. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I have a feeling the comments that annoy me are like drive-by commenters um, that are not subscribers and just randomly leave me comments. But some of you might be subscribers, so I don't know. We'll just talk about it in generalizations though. But any hoodles, let's do cones first. So I was um, chatting Facebook with a couple of my gals um, about they have recently tried going no cone with not good results. Um, and I didn't have a good bit of going non cone either. Um, so I know some of you right now are going, what, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> So um, if you look at the ingredients list on your hair care products, um, you will probably notice things such as dimethicone or silicone. Some of them actually have straight silicone. Um, but basically it's anything that ends in C-O-N-E, which is cone. So um, what cones do is um, they add slip to your hair as in it makes it easier to get a brush or comb through your hair. They make your hair shiny and um, smooth. So there was a big debate um, among long-haired peoples um, about uh, to cone or not to cone. Um, and what the, the debate seems to be is that some people feel that um, overuse of cones uh, you know, will build up on your hair, which um, many of you have probably gotten to the point where you felt like your hair felt a little waxy or something, and that probably is a buildup of cones, which is why you use a clarifying shampoo to strip it down and then begin again. Um, I usually clarify about once a month, uh, just, you know, to get the cones and stuff off my hair. Um, I still use a, a shampoo that has sulfate in it because I do, I am a cone abuser. <laughs> so, you know, to keep, to keep it from building up too much, um, I do use a sulfate shampoo. Um, I would rather not. My scalp prefers a sulfate free, but you know, it's, it's one of those things where I would have to cut down on my cones and I don't want to. So, you know, this is, this is just how I'm rolling. Um, I will say a lot of my curly gals out there have probably come to find out that the sulfate free shampoos, um, are awesome for them because it encourages curls and waves. Um, so, um, if you are one of my wavy or curly gals, try switching to sulfate free and see how that goes. Or, you know, try to shampoo not at all and just use a conditioner only method. Um, one of my friends who is an exceedingly curly gal, she's one of my real life friends and is in fact my neighbor. Um, she is pretty much a conditioner only and uses shampoo in her hair maybe every three to six months or something. Um, and she has beautifully defined gorgeous curls. Um, she just uses her conditioner as a shampoo. So um, any hoodles, you know, that's sulfates. But we were talking about cones. So, um, yes, so the, the, the anti-cone people um, believe that cones merely mask damage, so they are not good for your hair. Um, to which I say, duh, um, of course they mask damage. That's why I use them. Um, the ends of my hair are 10 years old, at least. At least. I mean, my hair is very long, and just by it simply being that long, it's damaged. Um, every time it brushes against your shirt, or all the freaking hairstyles I do, and the hair ties, and the pins, and just the constant manipulation, um, it's going to get damaged over time. So if I can use a product that will smooth it down and make it look shiny and soft and silky, why wouldn't I? I just, I don't know. 
Also, um, combs provide slip, as in, I can get a comb through my hair, my tangle teaser, or whatever. Ta-ta! And it is way, way less tangled. Um, why would I not use that product? Um, I'm pretty sure that I would get way more damage not using cones and trying to get a, a, an implement through my hair. Trust me, you know what it sounds like? Breakage is what it sounds like. Just rips it out. So, I mean, when, when, when you're thinking about, you know, should I cone or not, um, you have to do the pros and the cons. Yes, it'll build up a little bit, but it's easily solved with a clarifying shampoo. And I'm fine with it hiding damage because my hair is damaged. <laughs> it just is. So, okay. Um, and I like being able to get implements through it, hairbrush, comb, tangle teaser, what have you. So, yeah. I am firmly on the comb train. All right. Um, having said that, I will tell you that I did go six months without cones. Um, because, you know, I read all the same stuff that you hardcore hair junkies have read about cones are evil and they build up and, and you shouldn't use them. And okay, so I stopped, full stop, no cones, no silk drops. <laughs> um, I got the, the, the cheapo VO5 conditioners and stuff, you know, all the stuff that has absolutely no cones in it whatsoever. And I did a full six months of cone free. The end of that six months, I lost eight to ten inches of hair because without any of the smoothing or the hiding the damage or whatever, the last ten inches of my hair were wretched. They were so split and haggard and terrible. <laughs> I got a big chuck. I was at classic length and I went back up to waist. Um, that was not cool. Um, so thus ended my no cone experiment. Um, my hair was frizzy. My ends were disgusting. And I had a lot of breakage um, because I could not get a comb through my hair very well. So there was a lot of snapping and tearing every time I brushed it. So there you go. Um, I tried no cone and it didn't work for me. Now, this does not mean that it's not going to work for some of you gals. Um, there are many ladies out there who, you know, eschew cones. They, they don't go near them and their hair is in great, fabulous shape and kudos to you. I'm so glad that it works for you. Um, and yes, well, there's no damage being hidden because you guys might not have any. Uh, maybe you wear your hair up every day. Um, I can't. I, I like it long. Yes, I love to wear it up, but I also like to wear it down. Um, I grew it long for a reason. I like long hair. So, I mean, I could wear it up every single day in a protective style, but it's not as fun as being able to whip my hair around. So, you know, cones are for me. Um, and I guess I just want to let you guys know not to let anybody make you feel terrible over whatever decision you've done with your hair. Um, somebody will always have a different opinion than you, and that's cool. I mean, that's what makes the world go around. If everybody agreed on everything, we'd be like a lot of mindless robots, and that wouldn't be any fun at all. There would be no discourse or discussion. So, any hoodles. Um, so now you know why I am a cone girl, um, and I always encourage them. <laughs> I mean, I guess it does depend on your hair type, but they are for me. Um, I'm just saying. All right, um, that's almost 10 minutes of me just talking about a chemical. Okay, <laughs> so now the comment box. So I've been getting some comments that make me want to beat my head off the desk lately. Sorry, guys. Um, one that I find, I think it's frustrating to me is, and this isn't just recently, this, this is, has always happened, but I, I got another comment recently and it made me think about it again. Um, I show you guys how to do a style, right? And then I will get questions like, well, 
but can I do it with a different type of braid? Or can I do um, two buttons instead of one, or one button instead of two? Or what if, what if I want to rope braid it instead of English braid it? Or can I start with a French? You guys, why are you asking me these questions? Do what you want with your hair. This is not school. You're not getting graded on how much you replicate, exactly like what I told you. I'm here to give you ideas. If you want it to look exactly like whatever the heck I did, then do it exactly the same. But if you see it and go, well, it's not bad, but I think it would look better with a rope braid, then do a rope braid. You don't have to ask for my permission. Do whatever the hell you want. It's your head. I'm here to give you ideas. Um, don't be asking permission. That's just, that's silly, you guys. Silly, think about what you're, you're asking. Do what you want. Um, I see people do hairstyles all the time, and then I'm like, that's an interesting technique, and I sometimes will take a technique and work it into a completely different hairstyle. Sometimes I do it just the same, whatever. I never ask anybody permission. I just do it. It's my head. It's my hair. I do what the heck I want with it. That's just odd. Stop asking permission to do stuff on yourself. You quit that. Okay. All right. And... Oh, there was another one. There was another one. And I can't remember what it was now. Look at me. I got all worked up. Ugh. It was something somewhat along the same lines. Yes. Okay. I remember what it is now. So, as you guys know, I do um, occasionally do hairstyles that we have seen on television or in movies or what have you. All right? So I always try and let you guys know, even though it should be self-evident, that what I give you is a reasonable facsimile of the hairstyle in question. Reasonable facsimile. As in, I don't know who did the hair for the TV show or movie. I did not speak to them. I did not watch them create it. So I am not sure exactly how they went about it. I look at a picture or I see it in motion on television or what have you, and I go, hmm, I think I can do that. And then I try and figure out how to do it to at least achieve the same look or a similar look as what I saw on the whatever I saw. Um, lately, after I have put up a tutorial on one of these hairstyles, I have been getting all these comments about how I'm wrong. And they don't think it's that way. They think it was done this way. Awesome. Give me a video response. You do it then. If you think that I'm all totally wrong and I didn't do it right, well, then you make a tutorial and leave me a video response. I mean, why not? Because that would give more um, ways to accomplish a certain look than whatever I came up with. Um, telling me I'm wrong only pisses me off. Um, <laughs> because I never said this is exactly what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm just trying here. And if I get it wrong, then I get it wrong. Big whoop. And show me how you would do it. I would actually be interested to see a different technique on a style. Like, Siobhan and I sometimes do the same hairstyles. We almost never go about it the same way. It might look the same when we're done, but we approach it differently just because we're different people. We approach things differently. And I love it because sometimes her techniques work way better than mine. And then I have something new to put in my bag of tricks, which is awesome, um, is what I'm saying. All right, I know I sounded so bitchy there, and I apologize, but sometimes you guys really, really <laughs> think about what you're putting out there. Um, I say that as I just run off with the mouth so often. So, you know, do what I do, not what, no. Do what I say, not what I do. I think that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. Or just ignore me, I don't care. That's fine too. I'm just a crazy lady on the internet. So, okay, we're almost at 15 minutes, but, you know, I'm allowed to go on. Um, but I was thinking, just one thing to throw out there to you guys, I was thinking of becoming partnered, perhaps. Um, I don't know. 
because you guys know this is free. It's free to you. I do it for free. I don't get paid. Um, and thus far, I have resisted being partnered because I didn't want you guys to have to go through any ads. Um, although, you know, some of my girlfriends that are partnered are like, it's not like all these pop-ups and stuff. It's just a few and granted you don't make a lot of money, but at least it's something, right? Well, unless, you know, you're one of those that gets like a million hits per, um, you know, a million views per video or whatever, and then I guess you would actually make some money, but I don't know. I'm still dragging my feet about it. I don't know if I should be partnered or not. We'll see. Um, but I thought I'd throw it out there and see what you guys thought. I don't want you guys to have to click through ads or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I've always liked the fact that I provide a free service because that way when anybody bitches about it, I can go, it's free. Stop your whining. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay. I'll shut up now. I'm sure that is enough of me just ranting forever. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I got to get to the gym anyway. So um, I will see you guys next time. Um, I don't know what we're doing for hair. Um, I can't remember. I'm sure I'll figure something out. So, yeah. Alrighty. Um, I will see you guys soon. And, um... Hopefully, I will not be so crabby next time. Hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.